This is what would happen if I won character elimination. I should have listened to Vero Bell. I don't think this is a dream island. Hey, I was involved with this too. I know who Vero Bell is, but whatever we're going, it's not going to be good. I'm Tony. You must be Caillou. It seems that you can care. Oh, wait a minute, who are you? Lightning McQueen. I thought you retired from racing. Wait, Caillou, why are you here? Client, what is happening? We never lived in a megastructure, McQueen. You people are crazy. Hi, you don't yell. You might have loved the guards. Bell, are you still mad that you lost against Kalu? Go away. You know, me and my crewmates have been creating something for you and the others. Red, I just said go away. I'm not in the mood to see what you're up to. <sighs> Alright, fine. Go do whatever while I talk to the others. So, what did she say? Mira Bell said that she doesn't want to talk to us. She probably hates us. You know what? I think I'll talk to her. Mirabelle? Yes, Rosie? I'm very sorry about what happened to Caillou. So what? He's never coming back. What do you mean? Long ago, fictional characters lived in peace and harmony. We all traveled in a giant megastructure powered by the energy of friendship. The energy of friendship was a giant star in the center of the ship. It was the pounding heart of our civilization. But one day, we found a planet. We eventually found out that it could support life itself. We eventually moved to the planet and built the city there. And over time, we grew and grew. The megastructure became older and older and it eventually stopped working due to the star become older and older. Everything became lifeless ever since. A couple years later, another civilization reactivated the ship's core and it eventually introduced it to character elimination, which is known today. Maribel, hold on. A megastructure so far away that not even the characters with the best eyesight can see it? You're crazy. No, it's actually the truth. The civilization in the megastructure took it over and used it for evil. The energy of friendship never returned. It was our life but they took it away from us. And when I was a kid, I found out the shocking truth. Hello? It turns out that when you win character elimination, the green kidnappers come for you. Character elimination wasn't a game where we would fight to the death for a prize. It was a fire inside us. It kept our spirits up. It kept us engaged. But now they took that fun in character elimination away from us. We need you and the others to join the fight to restore order and the fun in character elimination. This is why I wanted to compete in the show. I wanted to bring back fun in character elimination. But first, we need to find out where that megastructure is. That has got to be the most insane truth behind character elimination. But do you know who can find the megastructure? Look, Mirabelle, if we find the ship and save Caillou, will this ripoff finally be over? You didn't answer my question. There's only one I know who might help us find the megastructure. You want to know his name? Well, what is it? Jimmy Neutron. Jimmy Neutron? Oh hell no. Anyone but him. I 
don't like this place. Jimmy is our only guy I know who can find the megastructure, he's gotta be around here somewhere. But why only choose Jimmy when there's like a lot of fictional characters out there who are smarter than him? Jimmy was a very smart kid back in the day. But ever since he found out about character elimination, he's been making lots of theories behind it. Some of his theories explain who created it and living in a megastructure and space long ago. He competed in it, but after he escaped, he was stuck in his lab for many years, never to come to the surface again. Hold on! Are you talking about me? Um, we're not home. <coughs> what are you doing here? No, you don't understand. Green guys will come any second. We're here because we need you for something. This ginger-haired girl's brother got kidnapped and now we gotta rescue him. Look, I don't know if you know that guy, but whenever someone gets kidnapped by those green guys, they don't come back. I have a theory that they scrap him and turn him into someone else. Jimmy, did this character elimination thing happen to you before? I don't know if I did. What do you mean you don't remember? I don't compete in character elimination anymore. They can take my love. They can take our big structure. Look at our big Bard, Bard. Bard, not now, buddy. Busy saving the world as we know it. Just bring the dog with you. Well, it looks like my job here is done. I'll be back. Hello? But why? We're doing so good. So, what do you want, boss? I hate all these fictional characters. They were in my life. This is why it shows you can stand up against them. Now we get to see a proof of scene of experiment and thousands execution. But why choose me? Because you were an excellent host when it comes to character elimination. On the project that somebody say flowers is almost complete. I won't need you anymore. But boss, why? And that, sir, just do as you told, you fired, unless you can become part of the Great Flower herself. Fine. Enjoy your little taking over the world party. God, it's been over an hour. Where are they? Maybe Mirabel and Rosie are never coming back. Let go, let go. It took us an entire hour trying to get Jimmy Neutron himself to help us. Rosie? First of all, that's the guy who's going to help us find Kaiu and second of all. Why is he so nerdy? It's been so long since I last saw Jimmy. I haven't seen him when I was around. Jimmy also has a couple things to say. Rosie, let him go. Phil, this is your so-called search and rescue crew. Oh, actually we're fiction X now. As in fictional characters made to save the world. Victomots! My progress It's a sold poster that may have one Rosie who lived a long ago. I'm Connie, one of Rosie's allies. Hold on, shouldn't we start planning the rescue? <gasps> oh no, I forgot that Kalu's going to die. Oh, I'm not coming. Samster? Why? Because I'm not going to rescue Caillou. I hate him. Samster, if the world's going to end, can we not spend the last couple days hating Caillou? No. You cannot change my mind, unless I can make grounded videos out of you. And if the world's going to end, then it should end with Caillou dying. Uh, I can explain. <coughs> Nobody asked. Alright, first we need a plan. Jimmy, do the honors. You're right, here's our plan. We use a space shuttle designed to buddy all the characters to get into orbit. As soon as we've done that, we'll land at a battery fuel station that was created by the Empire. After that, we'll install the hyperdrive and initiate ludicrous speed and activate the MRI camera system to find the mega structure. When we find it, we reel through it using the latest modern laser drill technology. Once we get through the hull, we then we be we then we be the we then we be the one no one, we 
announcement how you is a bitch ass motherfucker pissed on my fucking daughter that's right he took his fucking bald ass dick out and he pissed on my fucking daughter and he said that my daughter looks like Isabella from Nintendo and I said that's racist so I'm making a call out post on my twitter.com and let you got a small dick it's the size of this mega structure except way smaller and guess what here's what my daughter looks like that's right, baby. This baby right here uses fictional character souls as fuel, and she was created by an advanced alien race billions of years ago. I found a way to activate it. Does this look like a Sabella from a kind of to UK wow? Look at that, it's like two balls in a bong. Holy shit. We're all gonna die! He fucked my daughter, so guess what? I'm gonna fuck the Earth! That's right, Kayla. This is what you hear with stupid family. I don't give a fuck if I'm copying Moonfall whatsoever! So, it's a joke. The fact that we make the show copy total drama is extremely unorthodox. You have 23 hours before the moon hits the fucking earth! Now get out of my face! Before it's all pissing on your I see why character elimination is unoriginal. We'd better get started! Yeah, but what about us? I'm afraid that you guys will stay here! Wait, Wait what? What? Welcome back to the News Network, where we talk everything about character elimination. We just found out about what happens after we win character elimination thanks to Disney character, Mirabelle Manning. It turns out that whenever you win a character elimination, an organization comes to kidnap you and turn you into something else. Wait, was that what she said? Speaking of that, an unknown identity drained the, the energy of a megastructure orbiting around the fictional world. The identity goes by the name of Isabella. Multiple scientists are theorizing that she might be Mirabel's older sister Isabella Madrigal. Wait. What was that? Year 8, month 91 and day 2920 of trying to escape the ship. If anyone can hear me, my name is Isabella Madrigal, oldest grandchild of the Madrigal family, and I escaped before Mr. Jellyfy could find me long ago. I don't know if Mirabelle and Louisa are still alive, but I must hope that I find a way out of this maze of bets before my imposter finds me. Experiment 2000, the boss wants you for a minute. Why hello, Experiment 2000? Well you were fighting Experiment 2000 for yesterday, I was the one sending my dogs to come and get you. Who are you? How did you know who I am? Don't let him escape! What another beautiful day. Huh? There was literally nothing. Huh? What was that for? Budget cuts? I've been planning 
this for an entire year. My parents didn't even know what I was doing. What do you think it is, Jimmy? <gasps> that S the rocket? Yeah! Would like to give a huge shout out to the team! <laughs> Flint Blockwood? Oh my god, I am such a fan. Hey, that's my line. Connie? What's wrong? I miss my parents. I miss the old days. I miss Bruno. You're thinking about home again? As much as you miss your family, I miss Caillou as well. I swear to God I'm going to go up to that megastructure and beat the living crap out of everyone. Rosie? Connie? Can you help us with one of the engines for the ship? Not, Not now, now, Mirabelle. Mirabelle. Okay. I changed my mind. Let me help you. Oh great now Cletus the fatso is going ruin it. Don't call me fat. God, that was honestly child labor. I can't feel my hands. Mirabelle, Cletus and Sebby, we have a strict no slacking rule. We're not slacking, Jimmy. Hey. Huh? Hey. No talking. Hey, what are you? Me, you know, clear eyes. Wait, me? Yeah, you. Day 1830 for a being in this jail cell. Thomas the Tank Engine? Hello? Um, can I help? 
help you? What's happening? Earthquake. Let's get out of here. Oh shit. What's happening? There's an earthquake so strong that the entire fictional world can feel IT. What's going on? Shit. Oh god. The engine's on fire. Oh my knee. IT hurts so much. W A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A Who posted my news on Twitter.com? Boss, what is wrong with you? We were having a conversation about our name. Kayla, I escaped while I was on my lunch break to find him. First of all, you don't have to bust into our rooms and scream at us all the time. Second of all, go get security. Fine, go back to your silly conversation. I apologize for the interruption. We accept your apology. We need to make a couple announcements. One, Connie is hurt. We need to find a substitute for her. Any suggestions? The engine even exploded, and now we can't launch the rocket. Who could have done such a thing?